What's going on guys, Isaiah or Slash24 here. Today, bringing you another video in Valorant. And today I'll be talking about the forthcoming ranked or competitive mode for the Valorant closed beta. Uh, a few days ago there was a blog post where Riot talked about some of the initial features to the ranked mode. And so in today's video, I'll be going through that blog post. Uh, keeping things kind of short, just telling you the major bullet points and everything you need to know. So like I said, uh, Riot will be adding a competitive mode to the closed beta relatively soon. Uh, they didn't say exactly when it would be coming to the beta, just that they said sometime within the next week. Uh, I think late next week they said it's coming with patch 0.49, and although we're on 0.47, this will be coming with the next patch. Uh, so you can expect it probably sometime late the upcoming week or early next week. Uh, we will have that new ranked mode. It's going to be using the exact same rules and format as the unranked mode. Uh, so there's going to be no difference other than the fact that you'll have a visible rank and you'll be playing against people uh, more, more closely around your rank. I know that there already is a hidden MMR system for the like current just unranked mode in the beta, uh, but this will be a lot more visible and you'll probably notice a lot better matchmaking in terms of skill levels against your opponents. In order to play the competitive or ranked mode, you'll need to finish 20 unranked matches in the closed beta. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be retroactive. I assume it would be. Like, Once this ranked mode comes out, you won't have to then play 20 more unranked games. Um, I assume it will be retroactive, so if you're still uh, just picking up the game or just getting into it, into the closed beta, uh, you will have to complete 20 unranked matches in order to play the ranked mode. As you'll see here on the screen, these are the initial ranks for the closed beta. Uh, pretty straightforward, what you might expect for a competitive game in 2020. We have Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, and Immortal, all of which have three tiers. And we have a final highest rank, which is just called Valorant. Uh, I'm not sure, they didn't really specifically say how much there is in terms of a gap between these ranks, like how many games you would have to win, uh, or how much MMR you would have to gain in order to progress to the next rank. Uh, all we know is that there will be three tiers per rank, other than the Valorant rank at the very top. And uh, yeah, they did mention that for if you're playing with other people, uh, you will have to be within six tiers of uh, the people that you're queuing with. Uh, so that's basically two full ranks. So if you're playing with, let's say you are a, a platinum one, you would only be able to play with friends who are between the, uh, the immortal one and then the silver one, if I'm understanding that correctly. Uh, but they also mentioned that there's not going to be like a uh, solo or duo queue or like a flex queue like they have in League of Legends. Uh, they're just keeping it really basic and simple for the initial period of the closed beta, I guess you could say. Uh, they will try and match you with uh, other opponents who are in similar party sizes as you. So, For example, if you are playing in a five-man stack, uh, you will likely get paired up against other five-man stacks. Um, but I, I assume that isn't going to be working 100% correctly at the start, considering that this is just a closed beta. Uh, but it is something that obviously they want to have in place because it feels really bad if you're queuing with a bunch of solo guys against a five-man stack. You basically are at like a huge disadvantage. Uh, so I wouldn't expect that to work 100% at the start. Uh, but that's definitely something that's going to be improved as we progress through the ranked mode of the beta. Something else to note about the ranked mode. Uh, there's no rank decay. Uh, in CSGO, they have sort of a thing where if you don't play for an uh, extended period of time, your rank will like slowly lower. Uh, they said that they're not going to be having that, at least for the closed beta for now. Uh, so if you don't play for like a few days, your rank, your MMR doesn't go down at all. Um, but if you don't play a ranked game for 14 days, uh, your rank will then disappear, and then you'll have to play one game to see your rank again. So I, that doesn't really really change anything. I mean, there's no rank decay, so the fact that your rank goes away, it doesn't really change anything because after you just play one game, you're just gonna get the exact same rank back. Uh, so yeah, don't have to worry about like constantly playing to keep up your rank like in CS:GO. I think in CS:GO, like if you don't play for like a few weeks, you'll go down like one or two ranks or something. It kind of is a bit wonky. Uh, but for at least this closed beta, how they're gonna try and test it out is with no rank decay unless you haven't played for 14 days, or then your rank will just not be visible until you play one more game. One final thing that they mentioned was that they want to have a way to sort of show uh, your rank more in-game with some like sort of in-game rewards. Uh, they kind of just briefly glossed over that in the blog post. They didn't really go into a ton of detail, uh, but I would guess maybe some sort of like title or some sort of like a uh, little card thing on your profile just to kind of show your rank other than it just being on the scoreboard or something. Uh, they mentioned that was something they kind of wanted to have uh, sometime in the future. 
In terms of how the MMR algorithm is going to work for the ranked mode and like ranking up and down, uh, they mentioned that your personal individual performance will have a greater impact at the start of your ranked play. Uh, so this is basically to do with like KD ratio. If you have like a really good game, uh, but your team ends up losing, you might not necessarily lose MMR. Um, but if your team just gets blown out of the water and you personally do really poorly, you're probably going to lose a lot of M MMR. Uh, but then they said as you play more ranked games, uh, that winning or losing will have more of an impact on whether or not you are losing or gaining MMR. And then that if you're at the highest rank, which is the Valorant rank, uh, winning and losing will be the only uh, determining factor of whether or not you're gaining or losing a rank. Um, basically because, I mean, when you're, when you're playing with really high-skilled players, you're all relatively in the same sort of skill group, so it doesn't have a much of a variance in terms of who's doing well and who's not doing well. Um, so, but I kind of like this at the lower ranks. You know, if you're if you're if you're playing with a lot of poor teammates all the time, this is definitely a problem. Like CS:GO, where you're kind of stuck in like Elo hell. If you're if you're carrying every game at the lower ranks, but you're still losing, uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be you're going to be losing as much of uh, MMR as your potentially. Uh, not as good teammates, uh, but then as you keep performing well and keep doing better, uh, your MMR will just sort of depend on whether or not you're winning or losing. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's Valorant video talking about the upcoming ranked and competitive matchmaking mode. Um, I'm personally looking forward to playing it a lot, as I'm getting pretty sick of playing with people who have never played a first-person shooter before. Uh, so looking forward to getting out there in the ranked mode and uh, seeing how I do. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are excited for the upcoming ranked mode. And uh, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Valorant updates in the very near future. And as always, I'll see you guys soon.